Greetings and welcome to Miles More Motivation, the show that is designed to give you more happiness, fulfillment, and obviously more motivation. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to dream again and specifically how to reconnect with your dreams. If you feel like you're kind of living in a life right now, which wasn't by design, you're like, how did I end up here? <laughs> how am I doing this job? Why am I here? Like, hopefully you're not going to say that in front of your, your, your partner and kids, but you know that, that kind of uh, situation where you just feel that maybe things are not exactly the way that you planned years ago. Maybe you had this big grand design. Maybe when you were a kid, you had this wild dream you wanted to achieve, and maybe you haven't achieved it. In this video, I'm going to share with you a really simple way to dream again. You know, I used to be a big dreamer when I was a kid. I had massive dreams. I wanted to be a dancer in, in, in music videos, and then I wanted to be a basketball player, and I wanted to be a journalist for Sky Sports News. I don't do any of those things. And, and, and the funny thing is, I think a lot of what happened was during my teenage years, I kind of allowed the world to kind of dictate what I should and shouldn't be thinking. You know, dial it down a bit, be a bit quieter. You shouldn't think that, you shouldn't think this. And I'm here to tell you that dreams are really important. You know, if at any point in your, if you're feeling right now that you're, 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 you're not motivated, that you're not inspired, that you don't get up every single day with a, with a real spring in your step, then I'm gonna share with you three ways to dream, or three kind of types of dreams that are really, um, really common sense, but not necessarily common practice, and, and will, I believe, reduce the overwhelm if you're like, ah, oh, you know, I don't have time for dreams, I've got bills to pay, you know, I have time to dream, I've got mouths to feed, right? This is gonna be a really simple way for you to dream again, but for those of you that are realists, stick around. <laughs> for those of you that are realists, this is gonna be something that is tangible, that isn't fluffy and woo-woo, or maybe a little bit, but it is gonna be something that you can implement really easy. So, three types of dreams that are realistic, for the, those of you that are realists, uh, and are also really achievable for those of you that are big dreamers. Number one uh, is you wanna have a growth dream. So what that means is you want to have a dream that is less about the actual achievement of said goal or dream and is more about the growth, right? So for me, I have very big growth dreams for my coaching business. I have aspirations to work with kind of um, Hollywood stars and movie stars and global figures and presidential candidates. I've got some pretty big audacious coaching clients that I'm targeting and that I wanna work with. And for me, even though that may never happen, just by pursuing that goal gives me fuel. Just by pursuing that goal gives me drive, gives me hunger, because I'm setting out to achieve that, but actually doing it for the growth of it and not actually for the result. So what that means is, Sometimes in life we, we, we pursue something and we don't get it and we feel great after. Maybe you have, you know, at some point in your life given your best for something and you didn't get the result that you wanted, but on reflection you can look back and think, damn, I'm really proud of the amount of effort I put in there. And then there's the other times where maybe you go for something that was kind of a bit easy and you kind of went for it because you knew you could get it, but then when you got it you were like, ah, oh, that didn't make me feel as good as I thought it would. That's because you didn't go for the growth. You went for the certainty, and that's normal. A lot of people do that. But I'm here to tell you that one of the best ways for you to fuel your motivation is to go for a growth dream. Something that is outside of your comfort zone, that scares the living daylights out of you. And although you kind of maybe on one hand think, but what's the point of going for a goal if I know I'm not gonna hit it? Well. Don't do it for the result, do it for the growth. Do it for the growth, right? So that's number one. Number two, you need a connection dream. Um, at time of doing this video, um, we're obviously in this coronavirus pandemic. Me, Sati, my wife, and my uncle Lee had planned to do a skydive. We've never skydived before. And for me, um, you know, as, as I'm getting older, as I was reflecting, I was like, what are some of my bucket list kind of goals that I really want to achieve? And one of them was skydive. 
but I didn't want to do a skydive by myself because a few years ago I did a bungee jump by myself and it was fun but there was a lot of people there that were doing it with friends and family and I thought oh, this would have been a lot more fun had I got other people here with me so I made the decision that when I do a skydive I want to do it with the people closest to me that are up for it and just so happened that my wife sat here wanted to do it and my uncle who's a legend wanted to do it as well so for me although we haven't done yet that yet you know the deposits are paid as soon as the world reopens and we can do it we'll be doing our skydive for me that is a dream that when i look back and i'm old and gray i'll be able to say i did a skydive with sati and my uncle lee right so have a goal that kind of scares you a bit but more importantly um, have a goal that is something that you would love to achieve with the people that you love. One of my other dreams is to climb the Inca Trail in Peru, specifically with Sati and my beautiful daughter Sage. Very specific about that wanting to be with Sati and Sage. Probably going to do that when Sage is about seven or eight years old because I know a few people that have done that and they've said, you know, in terms of altitude, recommend that your children, if you're going to do it with kids, are at least sort of six or seven years old to be able to cope with doing that. So, uh, so that's a big one for me as well. And then the third one is a contribution dream. You need a contribution dream. A lot of people that I meet, a lot of business owners who tell me, you know, Miles, I, I just don't feel as motivated as I used to. I don't feel the drive. I don't feel the hunger. I kind of feel like throwing in the towel. The first thing I say to them is, what's your contribution dream? Great question that I love, which is, um, you know, what would you want to achieve? Um, in, what would be a, gro a goal or a dream you'd want to achieve if it meant nothing about you? And I often say that to clients and they're like, what? A goal that would mean nothing about me. What would be the point of that? And I say the point of that would be that it would be a contribution dream. You see, one of my contribution dreams is to end male suicide. Will I make it happen? It's, it's an improbable, almost impossible goal. But the minute I start thinking about building my coaching business towards helping men, creating a space for men to be vulnerable and to share openly their thoughts, feelings and their emotions, because generally it's men that the suicide rate is much higher. And I think about that I believe, whether I'm right or wrong, I'm not a clinical psychologist, but I believe that further back upstream, you could prevent male suicide if you create a space where they could be really open and vulnerable about their issues and their thoughts and their demons and felt that there was someone there that could help them to resolve those problems. For me, depression is just a, um, is a, is a, is, is almost like viruses on a computer and you just need to upgrade that person's software, upgrade that person's operating system and you could potentially cure, cure that depression and end that suicide uh, from ever happening. So for me, my business took on new legs when I decided to make a contribution, have a contribution dream. Our business, we fund, you can see here, Medical Relief International, who are funding and um, doing amazing things in the third world, countries like Syria. And every month we, uh, we contribute a certain amount of money towards, you know, I think last month we paid for four families to be fed for 12 weeks. You know, for me, that's a contribution dream. That's something that's bigger than myself. So you need to have a contribution dream as well. Anyway, that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Something for you to think about. If you have, hit like, hit share, and go and book, book your head uh, a coaching call with me as well. There's a link below where you can book in a coaching call with me. We can spend 60 minutes and really helping you to dream big again. That's it for now. Miles for Motivation, over and out. See you next time. Goodbye.